En quoi tu Please be seated. Le président. Veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. Reprise de l'audience. The chamber would like to give the floor to the defense counsel for Noon Chi. La chambre laisse la présence la parole à la défense de Noon Chi. Any questions to this witness you may proceed. Vous avez la parole. Some group on Sanaka, some group Sonaron. Lube. Sonaron. Maître Sonaron. Good afternoon, Mr. President, Your Honours, and everyone. My Bonjour, name is Sonaron, the co-counsel for Noon Chi. Good afternoon, Mr. Son Alant. Bonjour, Monsieur Son Alant. I have only a few questions for you. Question. Mr. Witness, you joined the Lonol Army in 1972. How old were you, were you at the time? Age I was 1972. Was 19 years old. 19 ans. Thank you. Question. Question. You testified before this court that when you joined the Lonol Army, vous avez dit à la cour que you were a vous corporal. Et dans l'armée de Lonol, vous étiez caporal. And that you worked at the provincial staff office. Et que vous travaillez au bureau de l'état-major provincial. Can you elaborate a bit further on the provincial staff office? Plus de What do you exactly mean by that? Bureau. Que voulez-vous dire par le bureau de l'état-major provincial? Answer. Réponse. It is in fact uh, a simple translation. C'est facile à traduire. In the French proper word, it would mean état-major sub. That is état-major sub division. That is the sub division of the general staff office. Sub division du bureau de l'état-major. Question. Question. I want to be clear on this one. Je veux que ce soit bien clair. Because in the at the provincial level, there is no provincial general Car staff. Because at the provincial provincial. level, there could only be the administrative staff. When you refer to the staff office or the general staff office, it should only refer to the military side, not the administrative side. Major fait référence à une question militaire, pas civile. And so, allow me to clarify that. Laissez-moi apporter les précisions. During the Lonol government period, sous la période du gouvernement, the governor had two roles. Le gouverneur avait deux fonctions. First, the, the provincial governor was the military le commander. Était le commandant militaire for that province. De la province. That was during the war period. C'était en temps de guerre. So the governor had a dual role to control both the donc, civilian and the military affairs. Avait le contrôle and that governor was also in charge of the military donc, le as well as the administrative uh, role. Et avait aussi des For that reason, the general staff office donc, existed at the provincial level. Un bureau de -major au niveau provincial. Question. Question. I'd like to clarify the Je provincial authority préciser. and the military structure Although the 
military command the worked at the provincial administrative level, the roles would be yeah, cool. a distinct one. If you are unsure on le this point, then it's going to confuse everybody. C'était deux rôles différents. Ça porte. Ça peut semer un peu la confusion, ce que vous dites. Le président, the prosecution, and you may proceed. L'accusation. I'm not sure whether that was a question or whether. Était-ce une question? Counsel's giving evidence in court. Um, I would suggest that he asks questions, Dépose. not make statements Je of his understanding of uh, instructions, etc. Que des faits. Counsel, allow me to briefly reply to the prosecutor's submission. We do have a role in order to impeach the witness whether he made a truthful statement or not. Nous avons, en tant qu'avocat de la défense, President, je peux the hearing of preuve, a statement of testimony and whether that the statement is credible or not, it is discretion of the bench. À la chambre de décider it is si not le the role of the defense counsel de during de this kind of a proceeding. Ce pas le rôle de of course, we will consider the outcome from the this kind of proceedings and we would make a decision mm. on that. You should adhere to the practice that we have been using in these proceedings, which last for almost two years, and try not to ask questions or to use the kinds of questions that have been prohibited Donc, ne posez pas by the bench. It is not your role to, to try to impeach it Ce pas votre or to intimidate a witness. You may put question to a witness, but your question shall be precise. Mais vous devez poser des questions précises. And if you combine a lot of points into a question, si it may be confusing longues, for a witness. Le témoin, there is no much est distinction que between the staff office or the general staff office. De ne pas comprendre, il n'y a pas de distinction entre le bureau d'affaires civiles et le bureau de l'état-major. Council Sonarun, thank you, Mr. President. I move on to another question. 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 You told this court Vous avez dit that you engaged in a battlefield at Grovang District and it was a, the uh, most uh, fiercest battlefield in 1973. What role did you play in the Lunol Army at the time? Answer. Quelles étaient vos fonctions dans l'armée de Lonnol à l'époque? As I was a member of Réponse. the staff office in charge of the military operation, I was there representing that office in the front of the field. Et je m'occupais de ce bureau. I was assigned to that bataille. To that battlefield attached to a battalion à ce champ de bataille auquel avait été posté un bataillon. Question. Question. When you were assigned to, to go to the Grovang battlefield, Quand can you vous specify the which uh, military unit that you were attached to and how long did you stay at that battlefield? Et combien de temps y êtes-vous resté? Answer. Réponse. For the military technicality and to represent that in the front battlefield, I was assigned uh, to represent the staff office. Le bureau de l'état-major. And I was attached to the 
uh, military unit on the lunar side and to liberate the people at the Crovagne mountain and I spent uh, one week there. Question. Question. Could you specify which military unit that you were assigned to? For instance, which regiment, or which battalion? Or regiment, or which battalion? Or battalion? Answer. The response. There was a unit uh, subordinate to the general staff, to the staff major. office. And of course, they have their own uh, squad and uh, platoon and uh, company under uh, the direct supervision of the provincial governor. Thank you. Question. Question. In April 1975, your unit assigned you to spin Swai Don Kail or Swai Don Kail Bridge Battlefield. Can you recall the date that you were assigned to that battlefield? That is in April 1975. Can you recall the date? Answer. Réponse. I can recall it, but not that clearly. Je me souviens de l'événement, mais je me souviens I pas clairement de la date. I left the provincial town office for about one year, and environ. I spent about a, actually I spent about one year at that Asvai Down Kail. Passé environ un an à Asvai Down Kail. Question: When you went to work Question. in Swydon Kail, were you still a staff uh, for the staff office, si or were you part major? of a, another office or unit? Have you integrated another bureau or another unit? Answer: Réponse. I was attached to a, another unit, but it was still under uh, the supervision of the si staff office of the province. Du de la province. Question. Question: In your PV with the OCIJ, you Donc, said you were attached to. An artillery unit. Is that correct? Is that correct? Answer: Yes, Réponse. it is. C'est exact. Question: You were attached to the artillery unit. What was your position so in that artillery unit? Quelle était votre fonction ou poste? Answer: I was in charge of the technical team for the preparation to fire or to load the gun. Question: Allow me to return a little bit back to the back. When you joined the Lunal Quand Army, vous avez did you receive Lundal, any military training? Avez-vous reçu un entraînement militaire? Answer. Réponse. When I joined the military. Army, the Lonol Army. De Lonol. I went for a training with the infantry suivi un at sein de the Gambol near Phnom Penh. Pas loin, non loin de Phnom Penh. Question. Question. Did you learn how to fire 
artillery like the one that you did at the Zweig Down Kyle battlefield. Comme, uh, à la ligne de front de Zweig Down Kyle. And uh, before Réponse. I was assigned to the Avant artillery unit, I received a three-month training in that field. De trois mois Thank you. Dans ce domaine. Question. Question. Oh, again, in your interview with the OCIJ, you said the Lunar soldiers in Poussat received instructions from Phnom Penh to disarm through the announcement by the General Moise John in Phnom Penh. And the announcement was made on the radio. My question is the following. On what day did Macy John made the announcement for the disarm? And did you hear that announcement yourself? Have you heard yourself that announcement? I cannot recall the exact date of the announcement, but I heard the announcement by myself. Question. Question. When General Maisy John made that Quand announcement, or before that announcement, annonce, did you ever justement. hear of his name? And when you heard the announcement, did you know the position of the General Maisy John? Tendu l'annonce. Connaissiez-vous le rang du General Maisy John? Answer. When Réponse. General Maisy John made Quand that General announcement, I did not know which position he held, but the announcement that went through said he played himself as he was Mais a major general in Phnom Penh, and that he issued the instructions to all the military units, and that he represented all the national army of the regime. Du gouvernement. Thank you. Question. Question. Merci. You responded to the prosecution this morning Ce matin, vous avez that dit one que day prior to raising the white flag, the lunar soldiers laid down their Avant weapons and blanc, ils ont les attended the dancing de ont together les with the Khmer Rouge. Ils sont allés danser avec les Khmer Rouge. My question is, where did it take place and how many Khmer Rouge soldiers Où actually danced with the Lunar soldiers? Did you yourself dance? Et vous, avez -vous dansé? Answer. I personally was at Zwei Don Kai Battlefield. I was allé au champ de bataille de attended the dancing. De Zwei Don Kai, je suis allé danser. Question. Do you wish to add more to your response? Maître Sonaron, souhaitez-vous ajouter quelque chose? Answer. Réponse. The event that I described was the one that I personally participated. Auquel j'ai participé personnellement. That evening, the two Ce opposing sides greeted one another and we danced later. Salué et plus tard nous avons dansé. Question. During the dancing, Question. did you yourself dance? And if vous, not, where were you? Have you danced? Who is it? Answer. Réponse. I did not dance, but Je my soldiers and my unit were all cheerful as we était tous très joyeux knew that both sides now consolidated and laid Nous down the les weapons. That's the event that took place in the evening. Les armes. 
but by the morning everything turned out to be completely different question can you tell us uh, during the dancing Question. night where were you où étiez-vous pendant cette soirée où l'on dansait and so i already stated that i was with the unit station at that swai don kai unité qui était postée à swai don kai Question. Question. You stated in your PV that the Khmer rules took control of the entire Busan province on the 17th of 1975, and on the 24th or 25th of April that year, the sector committee made a request to the Busa, the governor, that is General Prom Lee Hoon. To go to a meeting at the provincial hall, and there were about 500 attendees, including the soldiers, civil servants, and the students, in order to receive Anka at Tulpochere. Can you tell us? The period between the 17 April when you disarmed que up to the 24th or 25th. La période entre le 17 avril et le 24 ou 25 When a meeting took place at the entre le 17 avril et le 24 avril, where the provincial governor Prom Lee Hoon attended together with soldiers, civil servants, and students. Les fonctionnaires et les étudiants. What happened to the people or the civilians during that particular period of time? Pendant cette période, donc, c'est pas les deux dates. Was the provincial governor arrested, or he still performed his usual function as the governor? Continuait-il d'exercer ses fonctions de gouverneur? Answer. Réponse. We were working as usual at that time. Nous continuons de travailler normalement. Question. Question. Does it mean that from the 17th April 1975 when the Khmer Rouge took control, to control the Khmer Rouge, the civil servants or the Workers still work as user. Is that what you mean? Est-ce ce que vous voulez dire? Answer. Réponse. It means that for the civil, for the public servants engaging in the administrative work, still performed their duty. Continuer d'exercer leur fonction. Question. Question. You also stated that the meeting was held on the 24th or the 25th of April. Vous avez dit que la réunion a eu lieu le 24 ou le 25 avril. What do you mean by that? Did the meeting last only for one day or it lasts for two days? Ça veut-il dire que la réunion a duré deux jours ou une seule journée? Answer. You should know that the word all, I said 24th or 25th, so it means it only happened for one day. Bien comprendre le mot où, j'ai dit 24 ou 25, ce qui veut donc dire que la réunion n'a duré qu'une seule journée. Was the meeting held on the 24th or on the 25th? La réunion a été lieu le 24 ou le 25? Answer, I stated it's 
either the 24th or on the 25th. J'ai dit c'était le 24. Because I was not sure exactly whether it was held on the 24th or on the 25th. Question. This is my last question to you. Voici ma dernière question. This morning, Mr. Witness, in your response to the litigant lawyer for civil parties, that you saw the name of Tassot at the S21 office. Vous avez dit que vous avez vu le nom de Tassot au bureau S21. How did you see it? Did you personally come to S21 to see it, or were you told of that information? Et c'est là que vous l'avez vu, ou vous a-t-on dit que c'était le cas? Answer. Réponse. When I came for my educational session, quand je suis venu, we we were given a tour to Tulls Lane Museum, and I saw the name of Kai Kumpu, at least Son, who was a Sector 7 committee who was killed there, and for that reason, I knew that he died at S21 prison. Et c'est là que j'ai su qu'il est mort Counsel, dans la prison. I now S21. conclude my question, Mr. Maître President, and my international counterpart will put further questions to this witness. President, thank you. Counsel Victor Coupe, you Le may take the floor. Victor Coupe, vous avez la parole. Thank you, Mr. Maître President. Coupe. Merci, Good Monsieur afternoon, Président. Your Good afternoon, Your Honours. Good afternoon, Counsel. Good afternoon, Mr. Mr. Witness. Um, I have a few questions um, to put to you in respect of the events surrounding uh, the two meetings in the provincial townhouse, the town hall. Could you, before I come to that subject, tell us a little more about the invitation that was extended to former officials and soldiers to come to the provincial town building. How do you know how it was conveyed to everybody? How do you know how this information, this invitation, was communicated to the participants? Response. The information regarding the invitation Réponse. for the meeting was done um, through word of mouth. À la réunion, for example, the message was relayed par from one person to another. Les gens se sont passé le mot. But, but did I understand it correctly Question. that um, si je comprends bien, the time that the invitation was conveyed au moment où was a été after Poursat had already been evacuated. Après l'évacuation de Poursat, n'est-ce pas? Response. Réponse. Yes, it is correct. C'est exact. And Question. did I understand also correctly that? Si je comprends bien également. Uh, the structure and the offices of uh, the former law and military et les bureaux, uh, were dismantled, de were, not, were not functioning de anymore, avaient été démantelés et ne fonctionnaient plus. Response. Réponse. Immediately. After the event, the building was still there and the bâtiment était toujours sur place et il continuait de fonctionner. Are you saying that question? Offices, other structures of the law and military were still functioning. Les bureaux et structures a week or days after à fonctionner. The liberation of Pursat. Plusieurs jours après la libération de Pursat. Response. Réponse. Yes, it is correct. C'est exact. So in the in the days before question that meeting in Pursat province Avant where cette réunion um, de la province the law and military still walking around in their 
military uniforms, les soldats de l'honneur continuaient à déambuler en uniforme militaire, par exemple Response. Réponse. Immediately, um, uh, during this event, uh, they did not uh, Juste go après, elsewhere other than staying at the workplace to ils sont receive orders. Restés sur leur lieu de travail pour recevoir des ordres. So, let me get this clear between Donc, 17 April, the day of the liberation, entre le jour de la libération, and the day le 17 avril, that the first meeting was convened in the provincial townhouse. Au siège des autorités provinciales. Les soldats de l'Honneau continuaient d'opérer. Ils portaient toujours l'uniforme. Ils étaient toujours actifs. Response. Réponse. The operation uh, the the military was still functioning but partially because continuait de fonctionner mais partiellement in wearing uniforms Certains when the other had to be uniforme, wearing tandis que d'autres some civilian clothes étaient en civil early this morning Question. mr witness you answered a question matin, from one of the lawyers from the civil parties in respect of um, Commander Pell and Commander Room. Pell et Room. Um, did I understand your answer correctly that you si didn't really know réponse, um, very well who they were? Ne saviez pas bien qui ces gens étaient, n'est-ce pas? Response. It is correct. C'est exact. It is true, yeah. From, from evidence, from testimony given to this chamber um, earlier, it seemed témoignages that um, ici, Commander Room and Commander Pell were Pell commanding the forts at Tupotre and Po Village. Des villages de tout le Now, would that be information that normally would be known to you in your capacity as a corporal of the Lonol military? De de Lonol, que vous connaissiez ces endroits? Response. Réponse. I knew that there was a um, je savais qu'il y avait un dénommé Savut et qu'à tout le potchery c'était l'avant-poste, le poste du front qui était commandé par un major lieutenant Question. Le major lieutenant Pell. Major lieutenant Pell. Man -man -day. Réponse. No, it's not him. Non. So what was the function Question. of Commander Pell? Quelles étaient les fonctions du commandant Pell en 75? Response. Réponse. I don't know. Je n'en sais rien. Do you know what the function of Question. or the rank was of quel rang Commander Room? Le commandant Room? Response. Réponse. I don't know. Je n'en sais rien. Um, you also testified that you Question. know something about a fort at Two Post Trey. Um, aussi dit savoir quelque chose concernant un fort. Not clear. À Tool, in respect trail. of your knowledge about a fort at um, si Poe Village. Do you know anything about a fort, a military fortress at Poe Village? Do you know anything about a fort, a military fortress at Poe Village?
Response. No, Réponse. I don't. I don't no. know about this. Je ne sais rien à ce sujet. Would you be able to explain Question. briefly um, what was your area of knowledge en quelques mots, in respect of que the functioning of the London military du fonctionnement in Pursat town and Pursat province? À Pursat et dans la province de Pursat. Response. Uh, I think I may need uh, to hear this question again, please. Pourriez-vous répéter la question? Around April question. 75. Avril what was your f your specific function Quelle as a fonction uh, Lomnol corporal? En tant que what was your de area of knowledge? What were you supposed to do in April que 75? Qu'étiez-vous censé faire en avril 75? Response. Réponse. In 1975, en 1975, after the country was uh, controlled by the Khmer Rouge, après que les Khmer Rouges ont pris contrôle du pays, the former Lonol administration, in particular the military administration, de London was et en no particulier l'administration well militaire organized. People already étaient désorganisés. Les gens avaient pris la positions. fuite, ils avaient abandonné leur poste. À cette époque, il n'y avait pas de propre fonction pour nous. Nous n'avions pas de fonction bien précise. Question. Je passe à autre chose. Telling you, Mr. Mais Wittes, I'm, I'm, I'm somewhat puzzled sachez, by the fact that you do not really know who these two commanders were and that you don't seem to know there was a fortress at Pau village. Vous pas savoir Would you be able, il able to explain the chamber au village de Pau. why that is, why it is that you Comment don't know these things? Pourquoi ne savez-vous pas ces choses? Response. Réponse. The reason is that I was at the Swai Don Kail battlefield, which is to the west of the country, bordering Pusat and Badambang. À la frontière entre les provinces de Pusat et Badambang. La forteresse de Pochrey était à Kanding, loin de mon lieu de travail. Convenient enough for me to know it. Voilà pourquoi je n'étais pas informé. The last question on this topic, Mr. Witness, do you know what happened to Commanders Pell and Rum after 1775? Au commandant Pell et Rum. Après le 17 avril 75. Response. I have never received any information regarding Réponse. these two individuals. Je n'ai obtenu aucune information sur ces deux personnes. I will move on, uh, Mr. Witness, to the, the day or the two days Je passe that these uh, meetings aux deux took place où ont eu lieu at ces the provincial town building au siège des autorités provinciales. This morning, you answered a question from the prosecution in respect of the particular building in which this meeting was held. It was touched upon briefly only, and I would like to ask you some more details about it. You were speaking about 500 people gathering together. Vous avez dit qu'il y avait là 500 personnes. Would you be able to explain us one more time Une fois de plus, which building exactly these 500 dans quel bâtiment exactement people gathered ces 500 together? Personnes se sont -elles réunies? Response. Réponse. This morning I already Ce matin, testified regarding the document 
j'ai déjà parlé de cela. On m'a montré the building is le bâtiment to dans un document. Ce left bâtiment hand side se trouve of the building à gauche we saw this morning. de celui And que nous avons vu ce matin. From that, à 30 there mètres de là, il y avait un autre bâtiment. And that building was called the provincial hall, not the current location of the Ce n'est pas l'emplacement actuel du grand hôtel. Monsieur le Président, with your leave, I would like to Monsieur le Président, show again moyennant votre autorisation, j'aimerais montrer à nouveau uh, aux deux photos, deux photos uh, which could be put on the screen, qui peuvent être photos, affichées à l'écran. Uh, document D25217. That is English ERM 0029 en Khmer, en Khmer, um, 60-37-72-14. Je crois qu'on peut faire afficher ces photos à l'écran. Le Président, indeed, vous pouvez procéder. Le Président, je vous en prie. Est-ce que vous voyez uh, ces Whitness? deux photos, Monsieur le témoin One, the top photo, En haut, a building with on a fence voit in un front of it. bâtiment devant lequel il y a And une clôture. The photo below, Et plus bas, c'est la même photo, but then photo with somebody standing ici, on voit une on the right side debout, of the gate. À droite du portail. Do you have those in front of you? Est-ce que vous avez ces photos sous les yeux? Réponse. Response. Yes, I do. Oui, je vois cela. Now the, the, the building that Question. we see on both photos. Le bâtiment qui apparaît Is that the provincial sur les deux town photos. Hall? Est-ce le siège des autorités provinciales. Response. Réponse. No, it isn't. It non. is the hotel where the governor would stay. It's not the uh, place séjourner. where people worked. Ce n'est pas un endroit où des gens travaillaient. Are you sure about that? Question. What, en êtes-vous bien sûr? The place where the governor stays now, today. Est-ce que ce n'est pas l'endroit où réside aujourd'hui le gouverneur? Response. Réponse. This two-story building belong to the provincial governor during the Lonol regime because the new governor who would uh, have uh, to work in that province would have to stay in that building. But next to it, uh, there was a provincial hall where Mais people côté, worked. Il y avait le siège des autorités provinciales où des gens travaillaient. And how would you get to that building? Would Et comment you se rend -on enter the gate? And go left, or would you have to be going to the gauche, left side on the street ou bien faut -il aller vers la gauche before the building? En empruntant la rue que l'on voit devant ce bâtiment. Response. Réponse. There were two gates. Il y avait deux Here, portails. you can see. That the gate is photo, right in front of the hotel. And on the left-hand side, there is an access gauche, point that you could get through to the provincial hall. Qui conduit au siège des autorités provinciales. Let me return to that Question. day, and Mr. Witness, when you Revenons and those vous -même around 500 other people uh, went to that meeting, did they go through this gate that we see? À cette réunion, est-ce que vous avez franchi le portail que l'on voit sur la photo gate. Ou bien sont-ils passés par l'autre portail Response. Réponse. They went 
inside through the other gate les gens which sont is on the left hand side l'autre portail qui est sur la gauche I would like Question. to ask you, Mr. Witness, to <coughs> think very carefully um, and try to remember whether that was really un de the case, that people didn't go through this front gate, but as a matter of fact, to the gate which was more um, to the left. Plutôt que par un portail situé plus à gauche. Response. Réponse. There was a first gate. Il y avait un the premier gate portail was uh, for the military part entry, and on the left hand side there was also a gate for civilians or civil servants. Pour les fonctionnaires. And the meeting was uh, convened at. Uh, the inside of that complex, but people enter to the premises through the left gate. Le portail de gauche. I will explain Question. to you, Mr. Witness, why I um, continue to keep asking you questions about which building the meeting was held in. Ces questions sur le bâtiment you see um, on those two photos, and especially photo, more clearly on the photo below, Sur celle du bas, a person standing next to the gate. On voit qu'il y a une personne qui est debout à côté du portail. Maybe the photo portail. could be on the screen again, uh, Mr. President. On pourrait peut-être faire apparaître okay. la photo à l'écran. Okay. Maybe it still is. À moins qu'elle ne y soit toujours. Do you, Mr. Witness, do you see the est-ce que vous voyez that man standing there qui est debout on the right side of, of the front gate? Du portail. Devant le bâtiment. Réponse. Oui. Now this man who we see on that photo below is a person who came here as a witness about two months ago. Témoin il y a environ deux mois. And he testified uh, to the chamber that he a dit was in fact there in the in the weeks after 1975, and that he was guarding. Avril 1975, il a dit avoir monté la garde au cours de la réunion dont vous avez parlé. Et d'après ce que lui a dit ici, la réunion a eu lieu dans le bâtiment que l'on voit sur la photo. Cette personne a décrit le bâtiment et il a dit que ce jour-là, 200 personnes se sont réunies dans ce siège des autorités provinciales. Um, on this evidence that I have just summarized for you. Pourriez-vous réagir à ces données que je viens de vous résumer et à cette déposition qui a été faite par cet autre témoin? The president, uh, Mr. Witness, could you please hold on and uh, le président témoin veuille attendre. La parole est au coprocureur international. Um, thank you, and I, I just have two Merci. points to make. Deux choses uh, à dire. The first one is, premièrement, um, I'm unclear and I'm not sure. Uh, whether it's the case, and council may be able to verify whether the photo um, that's shown on the screen, si or photo, in fact, if any photos were shown to the witness that came to testify. Ou une autre so photo sure, a été montrée um, à l'autre témoin quand il est venu déposer. Il faudrait vérifier. Si ce n'a pas um, été fait, the proposition that um, the witness testified in that testified to a meeting in that particular building, um, I don't think can be so clearly put. Je Je ne pense pas qu'on puisse uh, dire que l'autre témoin a parlé d'une réunion qui aurait eu lieu dans ce bâtiment. Um, Deuxième point, à des fins de clarification, line, um, il faudrait um, demander now, uh, à ce témoin si la clôture um, que l'on voit sur la photo est la même qu'en 1975. Uh, Je ne pense pas uh, que les photos witness, aient my été montrées À l'autre témoin, mais peut-être que mon confrère pourra m'éclairer là-dessus. Um, Je ne pense pas que les photos aient été montrées um, au témoin Moumchat. 
uh, coming from Mais a report uh, drafted by the investigators of the par les uh, investigating judges. Du BCGI. And you can see that on that same page, à la même page in the corner right of it, it says witness droite, Umchat depicted in the same position he had when he and his Umchat unit regarding the compound. Now in unité, combination with his garde. testimony before Ceci, you, conjugué, uh, there can hardly be any doubt that he fait, was, there is no doubt montre, there, that he was in, in fact referring to that building uh, right beside him. You might remember that I was asking questions if he would be able to estimate the amount of people si in the auditorium and there was some discussion about it. But, galerie, um, public, il y a eu it is as, as, a, as a matter of fact the same Quoi thing that he has soit, uh, stated to the uh, investigators of the uh, OCIJ because BCG. They are describing in the report Dans that this was exactly the building that he is speaking about. So, um, in all uh, honesty, there cannot be any misunderstanding as to what testimony of uh, that former guard, Ung Chat, uh, is about. De so, ce uh, dit cet I think I have laid enough groundwork to be able to confront this uh, witness. Um, with the testimony le of this particular guard who is not saying anything about a gathering of people in another building. Your Honour, that might La be uh, um, an implication or an indication from looking at the report on peut and uh, examiner le rapport comparing that to the testimony, but certainly the position that it's uh, beyond doubt. I don't think Your Honours are in a position to, to do that. Je ne pense pas que um, this witness has talked exclu. about um, the town, the provincial town hall being in a compound. Que le siège, in the dans une site identification report, dans le rapport de and they talk about the same compound. Il est and in that compound, there are a number of buildings. Enceinte, là, that may bâtiments. well be the case that the witness may have thought that that was the building, que le même um, or it may in fact be the building, but it's just le même not bâtiment, clear. Mais that what was discussed in court on ne peut pas that être sûr is in fact that building there. And I think it would be not proper to, make, to put that assumption on uh, to this witness peut pas and he can be questioned whether témoin. that's the case in on any event. Si le cas. But I don't think it's as clear as the defence Mais je ne pense um, pas que les choses soient like aussi claires que le prétend la défense. <coughs>
Le président. Maître Copé. Perhaps you may be confused regarding the testimony que when Mr. Ong Chad was uh, testifying. Par rapport And at that à ce time, Mr. Ong Chad, there was no showing of the building that you are now presenting to the witness. Le And secondly, so far, none of the witnesses who testified before this chamber ever referred to any of the command uh, headquarter of the, uh, of the province. They all refer to the meeting held at the provincial hall of Posat, and their testimonies were consistent on this. And thirdly, on uh, your photo, they refer to the command photos, post or headquarter not the provincial hall. And that uh, here, Mr. Ong Chat, uh, I emphasize that uh, he was standing there and being a dit qu'il montait la garde that he was standing there is not the appropriate ground for you to dwell on this uh, line of questioning for this vous witness. Puissiez You may ces informations continue putting more questions uh, vous to pouvez this person as the witness, témoin, but not referring to these four rows sans uh, faire référence à ces uh, that is misleading. Car and again, une source the de term, confusion. the provincial hall and the term as written on these uh, four rows are not the same. The siège d'autorité provinciale et les termes think, um, de la photo ne sont pas les mêmes. La défense. As a fact, en toute déférence, je pense que vous vous trompez. Um, je suis allé sur place. J'ai vu le bâtiment. Je sais qu'il n'y a pas de grand bâtiment à côté de cette enceinte. Nous avons un rapport qui est un rapport de situation géographique établi par deux enquêteurs du BCJ. Je suppose qu'il l'a fait sous serment. Je lis l'affirmation faite sous serment. Le témoin Oum Chat est debout devant le siège de ce témoin a reconnu le bâtiment, mais dit que ce n'était pas là. Peu importe qu'on ait montré ou non la photo à Oum Chat, ce qui compte, c'est que nous avons un rapport établi sous serment dans lequel il est dit que le témoin Oum Chat est debout devant le bâtiment qui est le siège de l'autorité provinciale. Il ne peut y avoir aucun doute là-dessus. Le président. La réunion avait eu lieu au And if no, if you are not mistaken, since the old Pursat. regime, the provincial euh, town hall has never been relocated. Que même depuis l'ancien régime, on n'a jamais relocalisé ce lieu. And because of the time, I will move on, but I will get back to this Mais issue, Mr. President. Um, um, temps, je vais donc passer à autre Mr. Chose. Witness. Um, You have testified earlier this morning that Monsieur le Président, interrompt. President, please, if you you may use the transcript of the hearing of Ong Chan as your base to question. And this photo has never been shown during the proceeding before this chamber. C'est la première fois que cette photo est montrée en audience. Then what on earth is the value of this site identification report? But nevertheless, um, notwithstanding all that, Mr. President, I will move on. Bon, you were testifying earlier, Mr. Witness, that you were speaking about 500 Monsieur people témoin, gathering together in uh, a building. Dans un um, would you be able to tell us how exactly did oui, you get to that number of 500? <coughs> Your Honor, I, I don't want to uh, obviously interrupt too much, but um, the witness's testimony today was uh, after questioning that uh, 500 people couldn't fit 
completely in the building que and some of them are spilling outside. Pour le et um, so donc, à just so we're clear, donc, um, the question was that he said that the 500 were in the building. He said this morning that 500 people uh, were in the building and spilling outside of it because it wasn't big enough. So just perhaps if the question could be That's, that's, that's fine. Um, I will rephrase. Um, Mr. Witness, Mr. Witness, you have said earlier this morning that there were around 500 people in and around the building uh, where that meeting was held. Now, would you be able to explain the chamber how you got to this number of 500? It was my personal estimation. I did not bon, go around counting heads. Je pas compté. And where were you basing your personal Question. estimation your, uh, on, on, on how did you come up with 500? Why not 400? Why not 600? Why not 300? I was sure myself the total number of people was around 500. But did you did you count them? Um, did you make an estimate? Did you have experience with counting people in a bigger gathering? De grands rassemblements. Avez-vous deviné? From the total number of people inside the building and outside the building, I arrived at that number. Je suis arrivé à ce chiffre pour les gens qui étaient dans le bâtiment et à l'extérieur. But I'm, I'm still confused with your answer, Mr. Witness. 500 people is, is quite an amount of people. Um, were you, uh, was everybody standing at one point or sitting at one point in, in the building and outside? And were you, were you counting or were you walking around the building? Or? Please tell us how exactly you came to this figure of 500. Some were standing while others were sitting debout, or walking assis or standing. Ou marcher, ou it's, it, it's not meant everybody were sitting. Some people were sitting and standing both inside and outside the building. Assis, debout, okay. à à it was a meeting where people who attended listened to the announcement. La déclaration qui avait été fait. So there were people inside the building Donc, and outside the building as well, and there were a lot of them. Et il y avait beaucoup de gens. Now I have the same question, question to you, but then about the figure of 200. Poser la même question, you said that of those 500 vous avez people, dit que parmi 200 ces 500 were soldiers, 200 étaient approximately. Soldiers. Now, how did you go about that? Did you count each of those 200, or is it also an estimate? It is my approximation based on what I saw, but I did not count individual persons. So it could have been Question. 150 soldiers, Donc, 210 soldiers, 100 soldiers. 210, Would that be correct? Yeah. Yeah. I object, Your Honor. Le procureur. Objection. Um, Your Honor, counsel, I mean, obviously, he's fair enough to answer these questions, oui, but he's asking question. the witness to speculate. I mean, the witness has estimated a number, position. and le that's the he's estimated. Um, chiffre, uh, and so... I don't think he, uh, counsel can go further with this. So, 
Do I understand it correctly that the witness is allowed to speculate? But when I ask him to speculate some more, on doit comprendre que l'on peut permettre aux témoins de supposer. Mais quand je lui demande de supposer un peu plus, là, ça ne va plus. Your Honour, I don't think the witness was speculating. The witness was estimating. Je ne pense pas que le témoin faisait des suppositions ou spéculait. C'était un chiffre approximatif. Il faisait, il donnait une estimation. President, the objection is sustained. Witness, you do not need to respond to the last question. Could you provide the defence counsel? Monsieur le Témoin, vous n'avez pas répondu à la dernière question que la défense vous a posée. Il a dit d'appel. The term is appropriate for a short break. We will take a twenty-minute break. Thank you. 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 And can the officer please assist the witness during the break and have him return to the courtroom at 3 p.m. Likewise, it applies to the judge counsel because it is not recess.